What is going on you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're reacting to Mushoku Tensei episode 6 and 7. If you like Mushoku Tensei like I do, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, keep up to date. Also hit that notification bell so you know when it drops. Without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Let's go. Some beautiful animation. School life is monotonous. Well, I mean, he is like an old dude, right? You know, in a young guy's body. So it's kind of very much like you remember those mundane parts about school it's mainly boring oh yeah zenobu who's like let's not forget how powerful zenobu is but at least it is his friend right it's always good to have a powerful ally suits my palate to a t oh but that's what i was saying let's win for some good animation that's for sure oh what? Elenise at the, the university. Like, how did she even get in? Unless there's no, like, age limit type. But then again, we don't even know how old she is. Teleportation is taboo. So the person who's been doing it is... Was obviously criminal. So what I was saying is his day seems completely full. Oh my goodness. So... I warm the seat for you. Probably with actual magic. I feel like he really gets me. Come on, where's your your sense of actually sensing that it's a female? There's some part of me that actually wants him to be with Sylphie when everything is said and done. Like they the ones who grew up together type of thing. I'd like you to let me help you investigate the teleportation. Interesting. I wonder... He's gonna obviously start talking about Sylphie. And then I wonder how she's gonna react. At that part. <laughs> oh my gosh, this dude's starting to get lost in his feelings. Mr. Fitz. It's so trippy. But I don't know how long they're gonna drag this out. Hopefully not long. Oh my word, Rudis is gonna go crazy. A man of few words. That's the thing, like, I'm hoping that they don't drag this out for like five, six episodes. Because it's not necessary. Started learning from him. Wow. I'm sure I don't swing that way. This is like, oh my gosh. It's, it's fun to watch. But at the same time, it's so annoying because it'll kind of change everything. Like the two of them pairing up and going off to Zenith. And maybe the cure is Sulfie. Very interesting. Oh yeah, I remember we saw him like... Oh yeah, of course. One perv to another. So he doesn't have any mana. He's just super strong. Kind of interesting. And he has so much like strength that how can he be so precise with his hands or delicate? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So what is that created from? Like that's, uh, that's very confusing. Like did they just make the clay out of thin air? but lack the talent and skill. The slave market. Obviously, it's so normal here. I have time off too, next break. Wow. I'll buy you a meal. And just like with Sara, he was like, oh, these are kids things with like going on a date and stuff. This is like indirectly a date with Sophie. Oh, I'll buy you lunch. I'll buy you some lunch. It kind of reminds me of Black Clover when they go into like the capital and they go buy different things and they go see different people. I've never bought a slave before. Wow. I mean, that's still so trippy, right? Like, obviously in their time, it's like, that's just a normal thing. But it's still kind of weird, right? Oh, wow. So she's basically using them as an example. And he doesn't even know that she's talking about him. 
it's so trippy like it's kind of like weird right good like these slaves it's just around and it's like oh we're gonna buy a six-year-old like you know it's just it's kind of messed up you know even though they're supposed to be like the good guys like wouldn't you want to abolish slavery in general but then again on the other hand by buying her you're actually saving her oh you can speak dwarf of course i mean is that blood on the cages did you see that the hopeless look of someone who longs for death wow Crazy. I don't want to die. Wow. That's a hectic. That's a hectic scene. You know, it's extremely like it hits on a deep level because I mean, there was a time and even still today you hear about things like this. But Child of Bazaar of the Holy Steel, Lily Teller of the Beautiful Snow Ridge, Julius. Oh my goodness. I wonder how strong she's gonna become. Wow, that then. Wow, okay, that was a very, that was a hectic episode, to be honest, just to see that whole scene happen. I'm gonna jump straight into episode seven, but it really makes you realize how grateful you should be to be living in certain times, and it really gives you perspective on things that, you know, your life is actually better than you give it credit for. But wow, that was that was a morbid episode, that's for sure. Let's jump into episode seven. Okay, episode seven. Man, that I like I can still feel that episode six, you know. Let's hope they hit us with some like upliftment in this one. So this is how Sylphie's day begins. That's so trippy how they just make I need water, just create water out of the atmosphere. You know, everybody's got their morning routine, you know wait what so she also goes out as whoever this person is. oh so this is oh my goodness she's gonna run into rudis and she's gonna have to give a different name oh my gosh and then he's gonna like her he's gonna be like oh who's that girl oh my goodness i can see it already mystic mike could be back at it mystic mike could be back at it wow oh my goodness there he is oh my goodness this is going to be interesting how does that So basically, like, she has to help her while she's studying for herself. Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe it's not happening yet, but that was kind of my theory. But I guess if you actually saw her face, you would know it was Sophie, right? So maybe I'm not right this time. Oh my gosh. Would he still chase them if he got married? Feelings are something else, man. I promise you. Like, I mean, if you've ever liked someone, that's how it's been. Up late at night, thinking about them. This thing's gonna work out. It's really something else. A month. I was just about to say, I wonder how much time is in between all these things. Damn, well, she's better than you, Zenobo. Branded so they can't escape. Wow. She's my apprentice. Well, I mean, at least disaster struck. It's completely ruined. <laughs> She's just trying to sneak out. <laughs> oh my word, he's demon eye. <laughs> Juliet is hilarious. Someone's PC with a bat. What am you looking at? <laughs> Silence. Wow. 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 
人間語しか喋れないのわー<笑> Oh my goodness, that'll definitely get him. Whoa. Oh, yeah, he can see ahead. A bit of Aikido. Oh my gosh. Oh, what? Why does that literally look like they murdered them and put them in a body bag? Good morning. How long have they been out? Oh my goodness, Rudin. Oh my gosh, this guy. The Roxy doll. <laughs> oh my word, snitching. Because they've literally grown up seeing people get punished like that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Juliet is hilarious. Oh my god. What? The, like, I mean, isn't the whole idea that they locked up and he's groping them? Isn't that the part that's bad? And she's just like, oh, but it wasn't in that way. So my feelings aren't hurt. Like, make it make sense. Oh my gosh. The show never surprises me at this point. But at this point, if you've been watching Bishoka Tensa, you know this is nothing new. Oh wow, now Sylph is getting involved. <laughs> Already defeated. Oh my gosh, a beard. I mean, I guess that they did, you know, they were bullying people and stuff, but man, that's <laughs> crazy, actually. It's probably fake. Yep. Just do it so the suspense can be over and done with. Oh my gosh, please. Would he even recognize her at this point? Ah, I don't even know what- Rudy is so dense, I don't even know what, what would even happen. Oh my gosh, man, I'm literally gonna lose my mind. Okay, so my theory is still the one where he's gonna run into her in the morning when they're going for their morning run. And because the ears are covered, he's gonna be like, oh, who's this attractive chick? And he's gonna be asking about her. That's it. Oh my goodness. Well, that was, you know what that was? That was a, a throwback to the old Mushoku Tensei, you know? Like I said, this season has also been very slow. There's a lot of depth. They're sort of building things up, which is okay. We're just, we're learning more about everything we we're seeing how they are growing up and getting older and obviously I would like to see Sylphie actually just say hey it's me I'm the one that you've you know your friend or whatever we saw that now there was I mean episode I think it was what episode six where you saw this whole the slave sort of auction and how people are slaves and you've got I mean a dwarf girl of six years old malnutrition being sold who had complete despair in her eyes and at least we see that her things are getting better for her but that's just one person you know how many people and i mean how it, like it doesn't sit well with me anyways you know it's like who's the good guys who's the bad guys because in the classical way of thinking about it you would be like you'd want to abolish slavery you wouldn't want people to be slaves were they not just the other day saving the beast children from slavery and now you're buying a child 
from slavers like you know that's what i'm saying it's this, it's, it's this big contradiction so i wouldn't agree with it at that point you know and it's just available there in the city you know so yeah that's you know it's just it's just doesn't make sense to me then we saw you know episode seven or slow again we know we saw rudis was back up to his old tricks again i mean i don't think that's ever going to change in the show we are closer to see him and sophie where sophie actually gets revealed to him that it is that he is mr fit or she is mr fits this whole time but i do have a feeling that in the next episode something big is going to happen that's normally what happens in shows they will kind of lull you to sleep a little bit and just when you get comfortable boom they hit you with something big but other than that you know just all around good episodes to me this is what i would consider to be filler episodes you know in like other animes they have something completely different as filler right that's got nothing to do with the canon progression of the show to me what they're doing these days with filler is that it'll be a part of the storyline but nothing that actually progresses the main story that to me these two episodes i look at as filler but other than that that's gonna be it for me if you like the episode hit the like button if you like my show Kutense, hit the like button subscribe if you want to keep watching more obviously as you know i'm watching all different types of anime all week and hit the notification bell so that you actually stay up to date with it i'll leave the last episode up here somewhere thanks for watching if you're watching i'm out peace in a bit